Hey you guys, what's going on today? I thought I would do another budget PC build. My last couple of builds were all higher end PCs, so I thought today I would do a build for the people who are on a super tight budget. So I set a budget of $400, and this PC actually surprises me. You won't be maxing out games and getting 60 FPS, but you will get performance that will easily beat the current generation of consoles. But enough talking, let's get it right into the build. Starting off the build with the CPU, I went with the Pentium G4560. This is an amazing budget CPU. It's a dual core CPU with hyper threading, and a lot of people like using the i3-6100, and it's very comparable to this CPU, but the i3-6100 is way more expensive and doesn't perform much better at all. So this CPU is great, and it's really at a perfect price point for this budget. For the motherboard, I went with the ASRock H110M-DGS. This motherboard isn't fancy, it's a very basic standard micro ATX board. This board has all the basic features that you'll need and what you're looking for in a motherboard, and it's actually a decent looking board, but I really just went with it for the price, and at this price, it's really hard to beat this board. For the RAM, I went with one 8GB stick of G-Skill Ripjaws, the price of RAM is really weird right now. For a while the price was going down, but now it's kind of plateaued in a weird place. One 8GB stick is $53, so it's really not the best price, but you kind of just have to go with whichever kit is on sale when you're buying your RAM. For storage, I went with the WD Caviar Blue 1TB hard drive. This is the basic mass storage drive, nothing fancy. Cheap, reliable, everyone needs one. Just went with the standard. For the GPU, I went with the Zotac GTX 1050 2GB. This is a great GPU and for a little over $100, you get a pretty badass GPU. As I said at the beginning of this video, you won't be maxing out games and getting 60 FPS, but if you're willing to turn down the settings a little bit, you'll get an amazing experience from this card. For the case, I went with the Zion XON-310 Micro ATX Mid Tower case. This case looks clean, and it actually has some pretty decent features. It's not the best, most sexy side window RGB everything. It's not the best looking, but it's clean, it's cheap, and that's pretty much all we're going for in this budget. For the power supply, I went with the EVGA 500 watt bronze power supply. This is constantly featured in my builds because it's one of the best budget power supplies you can get. So for that reason, I went with this power supply. But that's my $400 budget gaming PC build. If you guys have any suggestions for other builds, let me know in the comments below. And if you guys enjoyed this video, leave it a like, subscribe to the channel. I'm Motionless Gaming, and I will talk to you guys later. Peace.